Hey guys, it's Melanie from MelanieKHam.com. Today's video, we are going to macrame this wine holder. It doesn't have to be wine. It can be sparkling cider or Italian soda or something like that. I asked on my Instagram projects that you guys would like to see and a lot of people wanted to see more macrame. So I'm gonna bring this project to you guys today. Super quick and easy, maybe 15 minutes to make it. Like not very long at all. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell so that you're notified for every new video that comes out. If you have any questions, leave those down below. Also check the description box because I'll have everything linked. All right, let's jump in, let's do it. We're over here at our pegboard. I'm gonna be doing this for my pegboard because I have these hooks that makes it really easy to hang them off of here and do my macrame this way. But if you have like a hook or an S hook, a clip, anything, you can put this on a doorknob, on a kitchen cabinet pole, uh, just something where you can kind of hook it on and then put your cord on here to do your work. That's really helpful. So how much cord do you need? You need eight strands of three arms length. So my arms length, I hold the cord in the center of my body. One arms length, two, three. I mean, I have long arms and this will be plenty, but you need eight of those. So once I have one cut, I just use that same one to measure the other, the other ones. There's number three. Right, I've already got four cut. All right, so then line up the bottom of your cord. Just make sure that it's kind of close. You don't have any that are a lot shorter than the other. So measure down about how long you want your handle to be. It will shrink up a little bit with that braid. So keep that in mind. So about here, if you think about that looks good. So then take one side and go ahead and make a knot. Just standard, fold it around. Pull it through. And then from there, we're gonna braid down here. Okay, so we've got eight strands, right? Now that's an even number and we need to split it into three for our braid. So we're gonna have two strands of three and one strand of two. And then we're gonna go ahead and braid it. Just a standard braid. I do kind of want to make it as flat as possible. So just sort of make sure it looks nice as you're working on it. So keep braiding it down until you have your desired handle size. Okay, so I've got my handle size and then to fasten it off, we're gonna make another knot just like we did over here. Okay, so there we go, we got our knots. I feel like it's sometimes easier to see how this is gonna work out when it's got the bottle actually in it rather than all kind of scrunched together. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our knotted sides. We're gonna take two strands, two strands about four inches down and do a square knot. Then we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side with two strands and a square knot. So grab two strands where it makes sense two strands. Okay, about four inches down. I'm gonna grab a tape measure just because I feel like it will help you visually. Two strands from one side, two strands from the other. Oh, we're gonna go more like three inches. I totally eyeballed it when I did this one, so this time will be a little more scientific. Three inches is here. So with our square knot, we take the right strand, bring it across. Then bring the left strand in front. Be then that left strand goes behind and up through the loop. So make sure that's in the spot that you want. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing but the other side. So the left strand is gonna loop this way. The right strand is gonna come in front and then back behind and through that loop. So that's the only macrame knot that you need to know for this project. I am gonna do a gathering knot later, but it's optional, okay? And then I'm gonna turn my work around and we're gonna do the exact same thing with two strands, two strands in the same exact spot. So reference your first knot 
and you're going to do another one in the same location. Okay, so now you could see from this one, it's going to be the four strands, a square knot in the same spot as the other square knots. So we'll take the four strands from here. Again, the right one, loop across, kind of looks like a four, like a backwards four. Left strand comes in front around and through and measure it make sure that it's in the same spot as the other ones and then go to the other side where that other knot is and you've got four more strands our knots on the right and then the front and the back. So we're going to take two strands from this one on the right and two strands from the center. We're going to do another square knot here and then these two strands will go with these two strands from over here. And same thing, we want them to be about, so you see these, and then the two strands from the side and two strands from the center. And those are a little bit shorter. They're only about two inches this time. So we have two and two. Okay, so two inches down here. So that was from the right and the center. So then we'll do the other two from the center and the two from the side. So you see how that's kind of working out? Two inches down. And before you tighten it down, that's when it's a good time to check your size. So I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. And again, you want it to be in reference to the other one. So even if one ends up being a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger, it won't really matter. Just measure it to that. Because that will make sure that it looks right. Okay, so we did our next two down so we can flip our holder over and do the same thing so we have our center knot so we'll do two and two and then the two and the last two remaining two inches down okay so you can see in our sample here this was our we had one pass of knots then we separated those out here's our second one now we're going to need to do a third one or we split it off again two and two making this sort of diagonal shape, and then another one. So it's gonna be one passive knots, two, three, and four. All of them need to be two to two and a half inches long, like in between each knot, so double check that. And after you've done this one where you've got the two, it's a good idea to test it out and make sure that it's fitting your wine bottle or Italian soda or whatever it is that you want, especially if it's not kind of like a standard wine bottle shape and size, this is where you'll wanna make those adjustments. So here's our strand, here's our center knot, and then our sides. And now we're gonna take two and two again and make another one that goes down the center. So check out my pictures. If you need to kind of see how it, the connections happen, check out the photos. I will meet you when it's time to do our knot down here. All right, so we've got one, two, three, and four. Now again, from that last set of knots that you did, we're gonna come down about two and a half inches here. Now I'm gonna do a gathering knot. You can just put it in a knot just like we did up here if you want a knot like these but I want to show you how to do a gathering knot because I think they're really cool looking so this is about how much we've got left over and our tail is really only going to be about this long although it can be however long you want but it's going to only be this long so I'm going to actually cut one of the remaining tails here just so that we're not cutting extra rope I'm going to take one of the longer ones and cut that off so here's the spot where I want to do the gathering knot here is our extra strand here and the, one of the tails needs to be facing upward. 
all right? And then before we start wrapping it, we're gonna bring it down and there's gonna be a loop here. Okay, so make sure that you can still have access to that loop and then go ahead and wrap it. I'm gonna wrap it like four times. Make sure that the tail is sticking up. See, there's that tail. And then we got our loop. Okay, when we're coming back around, we're gonna put this other tail through the loop. And then we're gonna take the top tail and pull it. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna catch this other one. It's gonna catch the other tail and tuck it underneath. Okay, it tucked it underneath. It's really secure. And now we can trim both. All right, we're almost done. So there's our gathering knot. You can see how it looks different. It's got that nice wrapped look. And then however long you want your tails to be, Give those a nice cut. And then I'll even like grab a brush or a comb. So it kind of frays out. All right, there was the one before. Here's the one I just made. Let's make sure it fits. There you go. All right, so there it is. That wasn't too bad, right? Once you get that square knot down and you kind of understand how it's working, it's pretty simple. If you wanna see more macrame videos, let me know in the comments down below or just give this video a thumbs up. The more views and the more interaction this video gets, the more I know that you guys like it. Very cute and easy and inexpensive. So I hope you guys liked it.